Hey everyone, today I have some pretty cool news for you. I want to tell you about a really exciting new lab procedure that can turn wounded cells back into healthy skin cells, but way faster than if you just left the wound to heal on its own. The study was conducted by researchers at the Salk Institute and published in the journal Nature. The researchers looked at cutaneous ulcers, which are skin wounds that can reach deep into the dermis. These are usually caused by burns, skin cancers, diabetes, and even bed sores, and they're typically treated with skin grafts that just cover it up. In many cases, the patient's cells have to be extracted, and then new skin tissue has to be grown in a lab and then brought back to the hospital and transplanted onto the patient. It's time-consuming, it's labor-intensive, and this puts the patient at risk. Now this is where the research comes in. Professor Juan Carlos Espezua Belmonte and research associate Masakazu Kurita knew that skin healing began with cells called keratinocytes, which are kind of like stem cells. But where pure stem cells can be specialized to grow into any particular cell type in the body, keratinocyte stem cells can only grow into various types of skin cells. But this is important. These keratinocytes, or keratinocytes depending on how you want to pronounce it, they play a really big role in wound healing and healthy skin regeneration. But sometimes, the wound is big enough, or deep enough, or violent enough, that all of the basal keratinocytes have been ripped out or destroyed. And this really impairs wound healing. So Ispazua Belmonte and Carita decided that the best course of action was to just turn the surface cells on the wound directly into keratinocytes. This is a process that reduces the time spent away from the patient. It requires no skin grafts, and because it's done right there at the patient's bedside, there's no tedious, time-consuming lab work. Through experimental trial and error, the researchers identified four proteins and RNA molecules involved in reprogramming a skin cell into a basal keratinocyte. Once they got these transcription factors down, they mixed them into a topical solution and started applying them to lab mice with cutaneous ulcers. They were excited to see that this solution turned the skin cells lining the open surface of the wound into basal keratinocytes, and that these then went on to grow into new skin cells. The new skin tissue expanded over a few weeks to cover the ulcers entirely, and by all accounts, this newly generated skin was as normal and healthy as, well, normal, healthy skin. The researchers are now working to optimize their treatment, and they hope that it can quickly pass safety testing to make it onto the market for people to use. This kind of technology, if it can be made into a viable medical option, is really good news for people with cutaneous ulcers and other kinds of large skin wounds. I could see this being a clean, rapid, and effective way of treating burn victims. The cherry on top is that, because this treatment produces pure skin cells, it's probable that wounds will heal with less scar tissue. There's decent potential that this technology could lead to a treatment for burn victims that allows them to regenerate natural, healthy skin over their burns, instead of stiff, numb, and ugly scar tissue.